Good morning, good afternoon, depending where you are in the world. Happy Sunday. Obviously, this channel is totally new um, and I am figuring out kind of what I'm going to be doing content style wise as I go. The last video was like a little bit heavy, a little bit much. Probably made it when I was in a bit of a bad headspace. So I'm going to kind of come away from that style. So I'm going to try a little vlogging style today. It's a Sunday. Obviously, Sunday just means all we're really doing is training and cleaning. Nothing wild. But I figured it'd be a good opportunity to take you through the training routine because obviously I've now lost like another 20 pounds in the last sort of eight weeks or so. Um, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I've lost about 20 pounds in the last eight weeks or so. So I'm sweating. Also, ignore this stuff. I'm, I'm having a clear out. So I've got tons of clothes that no longer fit me. Um, so I need to get rid of all those. So that's what that is. But yeah, I figured today we'd go through my training. I'm doing legs um, and then just sort of chat around like some diet stuff. I'm gonna clean, I don't know, you just can spend some time with me. We're just gonna do some stuff. Hopefully it'll be like a 10 minute video, a 12 minute video. Let's see, uh, but yeah, let's get stuck into it. So physique wise, um, I'm not sure, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if this is excess skin or not. I don't know if this is gonna be loose skin. Uh, I always store fat on my hips. I'm like a woman. I have like a woman's hourglass body. Um, don't really know why I just do. I have really high hip bones. So obviously total now we're down like 148 pounds total, like since I started years ago. Um, so I don't know what is going to be loose skin and what's going to be real when I'm done, but I'm going to be dropping like another, I think another 25 pounds from here. So that'll get rid of kind of the love handle area um, and just lean me out more. And that's kind of the goal. Uh, that's not a bra. That is a, a free train running strap. Because um, now that I'm now that I'm light enough, I'm going to start running more. So I'm going to start incorporating running into my training. Uh, I didn't really want to run much when I was like 300 plus pounds or like 280 pounds. Because of obvious reasons, I don't want the pressure on my joints. Um, so I'm now going to start adding that in. So hence the free train. Uh, I'm now like 256 pounds, I think I was this morning, I'm 6'6", so obviously I'm always going to be heavy, but the goal is to kind of push down to about 225, um, so about another 30 pounds or so, and then from there, just maintain and focus on getting stronger. The reason why it's kind of like I'm doing it the way I'm doing is like I'm trying to focus on retaining and building, Not I can't really build muscle in much of a deficit, but I'm trying to focus on retaining whatever I do have. I accept that like... There really isn't going to be a lot in there. There's not, like, I'm not going to be heavily muscular. Like, at the end of the day, I was, you know, I'm not in the best shape. So, for me, it's like, let's get the chub off, and then we'll see what we're working with, and then go from there. So, before every workout, I tend to do um, a little same little ritual. I'll have my coffee with skinny syrup in, just because it's zero calories and it's packed full of flavor. And then I'll use my Theragun to warm up certain parts of my body. Today's legs, so working on the butt, legs, glutes, hips, that kind of stuff. And especially my ankles, too. That's what that's for. Can you imagine if someone was in the elevator then how awkward that would have been? If I just walked in and was like, hi, hello, hi. All right, so instead of doing a voiceover, I'm just gonna speak straight to camera. Um, so before every single workout, I pretty much use the same warm up. Um, obviously this is a leg workout, so we are warming up the hips, ankles, actually the knees, everything, everything as best we can. Um, these are kind of my fundamentals. Um, they generally just hit everything in the best way possible. This is what's called a Hindu press up. I absolutely love it. It is something I couldn't probably do before at my heaviest. I admit I probably didn't have the strength in order to do it, but now I do. Um, so that's great. And then so a bit of pigeon to open up the glutes and some of the hip. And then from there, um, we just sort of start playing around with a bit more hip flexor stuff and also um, just some basic air squats and some reverse lunges. Again, all part of the warm-up process. Um, I also do do five minutes on a bike or a treadmill just to get my heart rate up a little bit and get my body kind of like woken up a little bit. But this is pretty much like the motion stuff that I do. Believe me, there are much more intricate things out there, but this is just what works for me. It's what I like to do. And then for squats, we start by doing some good mornings. I did actually once have a guy come over to me and tell me I'm squatting wrong. Um, this is not a squat, it's a good morning. It's just to open up the glutes and uh, get the hamstring stretched. And then we start with some basic squats. Super light, 70 kg. So as you're looking at my squat technique, everybody's always super critical of squat techniques online now because everybody's a PT apparently. Um, I squat low bar largely because I'm six foot six and I have a really long spine. So typically athletes over like six foot two, six foot four don't actually squat generally. Six two is usually about the cut off because there's just more opportunity for things to go wrong. So for me to protect myself, I squat low bar and I pretty much only squat to parallel. 
Um, it's rare I'll go deeper than parallel again, just to avoid chance of injury. I could obviously work on my mobility and improve that, but honestly, I'm happy with where I'm at. I hit depth, it's all good. So that's what we do. Working up to this is a five by five um, for back squat. This is the second leg day of the week. So it's a little bit lighter and it's more just about getting through the motion and keeping my central nervous system far enough. If you use leg press, please God, put your weight to it. It drives me nuts. Anyway, so then from there we go through, uh, I think this has actually been five sets of, of, of 12 to 15. As you can see, I can't go super deep on this leg press. My long ass legs just don't really sense to serve me too well, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And then we go into some kettlebell front squats. Uh, I think again, I did five by 10 on this. Um, the reason why I'm using fives at the moment is just to burn more calories, to be honest. It's just because I'm just focused on output and not necessarily on strength. Because I'm in a bit of a deficit um, and I'm sort of getting towards the latter end of my weight loss period, I'm pretty tired and I don't want to risk injury and try and force my body to do something that it can't do anyway. Then from there into walking lunges using the same weight. This was not super set. I just kept with the same weight. So it's 48 kilos. This was the last set of my, I think I did four sets of 12 on this. As you can see here, my uh, my grip, my forearms just are exhausted. I had back yesterday and my, my arms were just drained. So I dropped from the front rack position and just dropped to a regular carry. Largely the reason why I use front rack is just for more core um, recruitment. It really, really pulls my hips in really nicely. Here's my little water buffalo moment. Your boy sweats, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I sweat hard when I train, it's kind of gross. Um, and at that point, I think I was an hour in and I've just done a thousand calories within the hour which is always tiring. And then this is probably one of the most underutilized exercises to see. I don't ever see anybody really using this ever. Um, I generally tend to do this at the end of my leg workout because my legs are already fatigued. The simple reason being is it's because recruiting the, the balance element out of my legs. So it's obviously meant to be a glute focused exercise, which is absolutely what it is. It's a typical hip hinge. It's really, it's a great movement. But as you can see, it's a bitch to balance. Um, and I just find it, most enjoyable when I'm already fatigued because I'm, I'm asking my body to work even harder with more fatigued muscle. I have found it radically translates really well with balance in the real world. When I'm just playing around running or skipping or playing basketball or whatever, it just it just is much better. So I highly recommend giving this one a go. Um, I found it to be, just be super useful. And then to finish up, I do a typical core movement called a dead bug. Um, I don't train abs as such, I, and I don't encourage anybody to do so either. I actually encourage people to just train their core. Um, yes, they are two different things, in my opinion anyway. Um, as you can see here, this is called the dead bug. This is about overhead load with the pull, so that's essentially encouraging my core to stretch open and pull in. And then the downward part with the legs is under tension while keeping that midline sort of tensed and focused. I'm recruiting the push-pull element again with the hip flexors. And after that, I kind of do like a mini superset where I just lay on my back, <laughs> took my wang away, I guess, um, and suck my gut as hard as I can and just lift up and hold it for a brace. It's a little bit like a hollow hold just without that. And this is how we ended up on the calorie session. So Apple Watch, you're the bane of my life, but what did we hit up with? 1,279 calorie active workout, great. Anyway, that's me, peace. Yeah, that was pretty tough, not gonna lie. That was, uh, I'm tired. Um, good session though. So that's the second session per week out of my two legs. So the first one's like super heavy focus. So I do, I'll talk about it in a minute, but that one's lighter and more endurance based. So I just got back to the flat and this is where like real life kicks in. Uh, I don't have any toilet roll, I don't have any kitchen roll and I don't have any washing up detergent. I've run out of all three. So I'm gonna go back, get that, come back, shower, and then, um, then we'll chat about diet, training, and stuff. So a weird little fact on Calvin Klein, on these big and tall hoodies, was I was the fit model for the hoodies, or for the tops. So if you buy a 2XL, it's actually made of my body. Super weird. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, it was creepy. So as mentioned in that video there, my training, I train six days a week. I do push-pull legs, push-pull legs. It's pretty standard. Um, I take one rest day, sometimes I'll take two if I absolutely have to, but generally I won't. And the reason being is because I'll just vary up the intensity. So the first half of the week, the first push-pull legs is very like central nervous system heavy. So it's like seven sets of three reps for a major compound, whether it be squat, bench or dead is the typical way that I do it. And then I'll always add on like two sets of 10 or eight or whatever afterwards. And then from there, it's like 
a more hypertrophy driven session where it's very much like 15, 12, 10, 8, 8, or it'll be like 12, 10, 8, 8, drop set, 12, 10, 8, 8, drop set. That's how I typically do it on the accessory mode uh, exercises of the initial compound. And in the second portion, so I guess in portion B, it's still the compounds, it's just not the seven sets of three, which is obviously really demanding and really heavy. It's more just five by fives, um, or even just like 12, 10, 8, 8 on the same motions. The reason why I do it that way is because it allows me to use the same muscle groups again, twice in the same week, because obviously frequency is better. So that way I'm not just sort of training everything once, I'm training everything twice. But under two different demands, it means my body's constantly adapting to getting stronger and I guess maintaining. It certainly worked really well in the last six weeks that I've been running it. Obviously gyms have only been open now six weeks. I was out the first two weeks after my uh, operation, if you know what that was, then please don't comment. I've kind of been running this, I guess, four weeks now. And yeah, we managed to drop some good amount of weight. The weights themselves, the performance weights wise are going up. So my bench has gone from like a 90, for, 90 kg for seven sets of three to 100 kg for seven sets of three. Um, which will just incrementally keep increasing, but I am in quite an aggressive deficit. But I don't obsess over numbers too much. I just go, okay, that's what we're aiming at. I'm just going to do my thing and that's it really. So then for me, goals wise, um, where's all this leading to? So obviously before I was, I was 400 pounds somewhere about four years ago, uh, managed to kind of lose very aggressively over 120 pounds. No, yeah, about 110 pounds in six months. And then when I came to modeling, I stopped losing weight because obviously I was being paid to be a plus size model. Um, and that was my focus. My primary focus is no longer the plus size element. It's more just my happiness. And I know that I'm much happier, um, lighter than, than, than where I have been recently in the last couple of years. So that's why this sort of like, you know, next sort of couple of month period is about getting the rest of the weight off. I had my body scans and stuff done the other day with the PT. Apparently I'm walking around at like 16, 17% body fat. I'd like to be walking around at like 10 to 12, probably realistically 12. And that's where I'll then just chill really. And then from that point, it's not really about growing nor about shrinking. It's just about enjoying life, living, being active, being able to buy from normal shops and being able to move around in normal ways. I, one thing I don't think people realize is that like when you pair 400 pounds with six foot six, you don't fit in life. You don't fit in the world. You don't fit on planes. You don't fit in clothing shops. Everything is a, a struggle. Like it's genuinely, it's just uncomfortable being that big. And I, and I know like we're meant to be like, body posy, yeah, like love yourself. But like, come on, it's, it's, it's easy to say that when you're only like five foot eight and the world otherwise fits you. But when you're literally like the size of a door frame, like in the UK, a door frame is six foot six. That is where my head sits. So if you pack that is already one challenge, which can never change. And then you fill out the door as well. It's like, it's just difficult. It just makes life very challenging. But the goal right now, now that like, yeah, I can, you know, life's much easier now and I'm much more confident, much happier and much, much sort of like at peace with things. I just want to punch that next level. I think I owe it to myself to just punch that next level. I think having trained incredibly hard, even, even at my biggest, even at 400 pounds, I was still running 10 kilometers a day. I was still, I was still a beast. I was still really fit. And I think I just owe it to myself to finally see in the mirror what I've actually been putting in. And people can say that's toxic. They can say that's like what well, body dysmorphia or whatever, but it's not. I've been working my ass off and didn't get any results due to my celiac, celiac disease, due to the condition that I was battling. And now that I've really got that well managed, it's like, come on, let the guy live. I just want to look good naked. That's it. I just want to be a bit shredded. I want to see abs. Why the fuck not? Why not? So that's where we're at. And then diet wise, um, I just use a typical sort of diet calculator. So to work out my BMR and my deficit, that's what kind of got me off the ground. I'm not cutting anything out that I don't have to. So obviously when we being celiac and dairy intolerant, I already have to cut a ton of stuff out anyway. It just is what it is. But I aren't cutting out anything intentionally. I'm not drinking just because it wrecks my mental health. Uh, I don't smoke and I don't do drugs anyway, so that's that's not really a problem. I generally don't eat much junk food because I physically can't, because I can't eat dairy or gluten, wheat, malt, barley, so I can't have pizza, I can't have ice cream anyway. So I already live like a pretty restricted life just from health, because I'm prioritizing my health. So for me, diet-wise, there's no diet foods, there's no, none of that, it's just, give my body the best I can do in health and I'm training hard every day and just being mindful of how much I'm consuming and that's it and that's what's working. Anyway, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, I hope there's some useful stuff in there. I hope like this has been something of worth. Um, again, totally new sort of style for me, this, this style. Like I've not really done the vlog vibe. 
I kind of like it though. It's kind of fun. I think next time I'll plan a proper day more though, where it's not just like gym and then buying toilet roll. It's like, oh, we're actually going to go do something fun together. So that's what I think I'll do next time. But obviously let me know in the comments what you, if you prefer the style, what you don't like, that kind of stuff. I'm just trying people. It's all new. We're figuring it out. Um, but I say I'll link the bits that, I've, that I use in the, in the video. So the Theragun, I'll link that. Uh, I get loads of requests about my Pokemon socks as well, so I'll link those. Um, I'm currently rocking Charmander and Blastoise Mew. I've got Eevee, Charmeleon and uh, Charizard. But I'm going to like save Charizard for this. I'm not even joking either. I'm saving Charizard for when I've hit my goal. So when I've like shredded down, <laughs> that's where I'm going to wear Charizard. But I'm not allowed to wear Charizard or Blastoise until I'm there. That's my... That's my competition with myself. That's my reward. Sad, I know. But yeah, I'll link all those bits um, just in case you're interested. And obviously, drop a like. Um, if, 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 if you enjoyed this, drop a sub if you're new. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll drop another video later in the week. I think I'm going to do a fashion haul this week. So I ordered some bits recently, Zara, H&M, and ASOS. And the ASOS one did quite well on TikTok and Instagram. And I've still got the H&M one to arrive tomorrow and the Zara one's arrived. So I'm gonna do a couple of hauls this week. The next, I might make that the next piece of content is a men's fashion haul. Um, but let me know what you think and I'll catch you next episode. Peace.